Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm actually taking the line mate. My channel. <laughs> our channel. Okay. Yeah. You guys have just finished watching the Fillet in the Fish video. So what we've got for you now is a very quick and easy marinade to put on um, the individual fillets of salmon that you can have with a salad. A mash or anything else that you want. I have to sit on the chair because she's short and we won't be able to get both of us. But then I'm going to say, yeah. It's okay. Uh, what will you need for okay. this yeah. recipe? Oh, Sammy. Some soy sauce. We have some honey, about a knot of ginger, one of garlic, one spoon of onion, spicy chopped. Okay. And finally, we're going to be using one chili. So first things first, um, cut that garlic up into a little piece please. Cut it into half. We're going to be using a pestle and mortar because uh, we've got one and it's nice to mash up. But if you don't have a pestle and mortar then uh, a blender will do the same job. First things first, add your garlic in um, and add about half a teaspoon of salt. This helps break down the garlic very well. All right, start mashing that up then. We're going to create a nice little paste to smear over the salmon to act as a quick little marinade. I'll smash it down. There you go. Oh, yeah. And now you go in with your gingers. There you go. And then you go in with your chilies. There you go. And finally go in with the spring onions. About that much is fine. It smells buff. <laughs> it smells beautiful. So once you've got a nice little paste, let's start. I'm going to add three teaspoons of soy sauce. One and a half teaspoons of honey. Don't want it to be too sweet, but you definitely want the sweet tones to come through. So bring over your nice pieces of salmon that you filleted watching my last tutorial. We're gonna get. You can see that the pestle and mortar breaks down the um, ingredients very nicely to leave it as a nice thick runny paste. So use that spoon if you want and just uh, put it on the fish. You guys don't need to add oil to the marinade because salmon's full of fatty oils, uh, good ones. But basically guys, hit the like button if you want to see me in more of the videos. I know I do add some fun to the videos. Alright guys, so we're going to leave that to marinate for about 10 minutes, put it in the fridge and we'll be back ready to pan fry the fish. Right, so we're going to pan fry the fish. I'm going to put the heat on a medium. I'm going to add a little bit of butter as well as some coconut oil. Let that melt down a bit. You're adding the butter to prevent it burning because we are cooking a lot of it on just the skin of the salmon. And the coconut oil just to add the flavour. Skin down. Of course. And you want to just put your fingers above it, Abby. Just press down the top to prevent it curling up. Keep it nice and flat. For how long? Yeah, that should be good. Right. Leave them equally spaced in the pan and you're done. Once the opacity of the salmon has changed to uh, two thirds of the way through, become a more um, opaque pink, then you're ready to flip it on the back side and cook it for about 30 seconds just to sear it through. Why are you doing that? Just a little story for you guys. Guess who taught who the nursery rhymes? I'm not that much older than her, so it doesn't seem that much of a surprise. Yeah, she did. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> a foot shorter. A whole foot. Wait, actually a whole foot shorter. It's just so embarrassing. Alright, so guys, you can see that the salmon's become opaque two thirds of the way through. Perfect time now just to flip them over very briefly. So what I like to eat my salmon with is some blanched spinach. So that's what I'm going to make right now in my segment. So what, I'm gonna, what I have right now is some Salty boiling water, um, and with it, I'm going to use some spinach. Basically, I'm going to use 
Basically, I bought mine washed. If yours aren't washed, please wash it because it's disgusting. And I also have a bowl of cold water for afterwards. Medium to high heat. And I'm gonna just put the spinach. We're gonna have to use a lot of spinach because when you're um, blanching spinach, it reduces in size. So it's always important to have more. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop it in. I'm gonna get a wooden spoon and I'm just gonna push it down underwater. I'm gonna leave it inside for 30 seconds to a minute. Um, it's really quick, as you can see, it becomes more of a vibrant green colour and it just looks so pretty. So, now as you can see, it's a very vibrant, beautiful green colour and it's also reduced in size significantly, right? So I think it's ready to be taken off. Yeah, it looks pretty ready. It's been about this a minute. This is my segment. You clearly need the input, so I'm going to give it to you. So that is the blanched spinach. Now, what I'm going to do is, all the cold water and place it here. Be smart. Mm. And just hold it up so the water drains down. I might actually move you. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, this is why I do the cooking. And then just drop it in. You got to do why do you put it in cold water press? Why do you put it in cold water, Abby? I didn't know that's why I washed it. <laughs> to stop the cooking process. Otherwise it will become soft and mushy and you don't really want it. And that's it guys. Quickly as even I can do it. Alright guys, so thank you for watching the video. So hope you enjoyed it. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my God. I was in this video as well. I regret so bringing you into my video so much. Should be in the closing speech. Okay, go on then. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this lovely sibling cooking challenge. Not really trying, but silly cooking tutorial. We got a nice honey chili ginger glazed uh, salmon pan fried with my sister's lovely blanched spinach. Uh, the sauce is how you want to play it, really. <laughs> nice watching, guys. We are kids.